Hey everyone, I finally got a new tripod, the Victive T72. Uh, I've been using a monopod, essentially. It's got, you know, the, the tripod at the bottom, but then a long, extendable, single pole that comes from the tripod uh, to the camera up top. And that is what I'm currently recording on right now. If I tap the screen, you can see we get a little bit wobbly. That's that monopod feel to it. So the reason, obviously, I got the new tripod was to get a little more stability, keep the camera still, and, uh, and I looked online, did some searching, and the Victive T72 came up very high rated, especially for the price category, and that was a big deal. I didn't want to get the cheap of the cheap because then you end up with something that wobbles or falls over. Didn't want to get something super expensive because, let's face it, I'm not a professional photographer or anything like that, so I don't need the $300 tripod. Uh, but this one came in at a very competitive price, right around $45 to $50, somewhere in there on Amazon. And, uh, and it looked like it met my needs and had really good reviews. Um, a couple of feed features they call out right here on the box. Uh, it's foldable, simple operation, personalized series, and maximum stability. So, you know, you can go read the reviews on Amazon to get a little better idea of how this uh, device has operated in those areas for others. But right now, we're going to unbox this thing, and then we're actually going to take a look at its features and setting it up. And, uh, and finally, we'll go ahead and show you how it compares with the monopod that I'm currently using. Let's pop the box open. Okay, look at that. So we're right out Right out the gate, get rid of our box. And we, you know, we've got a handy, uh, handy carrying case. I like this, and it looks like it's pretty good quality too. I mean, as I look at this, it doesn't look too flimsy. I don't see like any fraying. It doesn't look like it's about to fall apart. This looks like a good quality carrying case. Now this is a big deal to have because for those that are using tripods for more than just your average super amateur use, they're going to carry their tripods around and having a good way to do that is important. So, very cool way to keep it all together. Let's pop it open. Okay, I got an orangish color here. It's kind of a metallic orange. I am colorblind, so I, I just may be off on that, but let's pop it out. I'm gonna slide the very handy case off to the side here so we can take a look at the tripod itself. We've got it all wrapped in plastic. Carefully pull this plastic back. Set it up. Okay. And this feels sturdy. This does not feel like the very cheap, flimsy uh, monopod that I'm using now. Um, it's definitely heavier, but it feels sturdy. I appreciate that. So right now, again, I'm just going to fold it down a little bit so it will stand up. And that, I mean, it's a nice smooth operation. I'm not getting any kind of weird resistance with the, the sliding mechanism. This is plastic, and I know that was a uh, something called out by reviewers was with the use of plastics uh, on the device, which to me, I'm like, okay, as long as they're not like breaking apart plastics. But you know, there's a durability uh, angle there, right? So if you really need metal rather than plastics, then you might be looking at something different. Uh, chances are, if you're especially looking at it for my purposes, uh, webcam, uh, webcasts, and different review videos, this is going to come in quite handy. So we've got that there. We've got the uh, a different attachment up top for, uh, for putting different types of cameras on as well. Pull that out there. Okay, so I'm going to rattle off a few of the key uh, specifications for this based on the documentation that they send here. Uh, I'll call out the height specifications because for me, that was one of the important things. I didn't want to get a camera that came just to this height. I wanted the camera to hold the, uh, to be right at my eye level or even a little bit higher if possible. And so I wanted to find one that had, you know, at least my height. I am 5'7", and so getting one that was a little bit taller was important to me. Uh, the fully extended maximum height here is 69.5 inches. So that definitely gives me the height that I was after. 
when it's folded, the complete folded height is 22.4 inches. And then when you've got it opened up like this uh, with no extension, it is 21.3 inches high. We've got the UNC mounting screws up here and right here that we see. And, uh, and it is 3.63 pounds. I do not know what that is in kilograms, my friends. So if you're, uh, if you're watching this from somewhere outside the US, uh, I apologize. I'm, just, I'm going hardcore with the US measurement system. The total load that you can put on one of these things is 8.8 .8 pounds. So, you know, you can get some heavier cameras, but 8.8 .8 pounds I think gives you plenty of room to wiggle there. I, I have plenty of wiggle room. I, I typically am just using my smartphone, so I, I really am not worried about coming anywhere near uh, near that, that limit at all. But if you're using a bigger, more professional camera setup, that's something to keep in mind, 8.8 .8 pounds. Um, and then finally, the, uh, the legs themselves, they are four section aluminum legs. So that's it for our specifications. Okay, taking a look at the Victive uh, tripod, you can see that we've got the rubber feet at the bottom here. This gives you a little more stability, right? Because you're, you're not sliding on anything. The rubber grips much better. Going up from there, each of the legs has three different locks on it. Uh, again, letting you extend from this 21.3 inches in height all the way up to 69.5 inches. Uh, you got that on all three legs. In the center, We've got the, uh, the ability to slide this up or down. Um, you might use different heights for getting different angles, etc. cetera. Um, or if you wanna lock it in place, then you would simply turn that center locking mechanism and we can no longer go up or down. That opens it back up. Then you've got the hook right here at the bottom, as you'll notice. And uh, if you're wondering if that's where you hang your, your, your coat or your hat while you're shooting, uh, sure, you could, uh, you could do that. Or it's uh, for giving you added stability in an area where you're maybe hanging a weight off the bottom to keep the camera weighted down. This could be particularly useful if you're dealing with high winds or, uh, or, or a ground that is slightly uneven. Having a weight to hold that thing in place uh, really, really can help a lot there. Turning it to the side, we see that we've got a handle right here. Uh, carrying handle really is, is all that that's for. Maybe you need to pick up your, your gear and move from one location to the next. You've got a handy handle for doing so. Okay, now that we have checked out the bottom half of the, uh, of the tripod itself, uh, of course, a lot of what you use a tripod for has to do with uh, the position and angling and control of the camera you're using. And that's what all this up here is for. Uh, as we take a look at this little knob here, this allows the center column to rise or fall. So there we go, we loosen it, can raise or lower the thing, and I'll go ahead and give it a little bit of, a little bit of height and we'll lock it back in place. Uh, this is our horizontal lock knob, so you know to keep ourselves in a sturdy position for, on horizontally, we can, uh, we can either loosen it up, have a little more flexibility there, or we can tighten this up and that kind of keeps this a little more steady from being able to turn. That way the camera is not swivel swiveling in one direction or the other. And you've got your actual swivel handle here, right? So if you do need a little bit of flexibility, you can use this handle to guide and direct the camera safely without pushing on or touching this whole section here where the camera is actually attached. We've got another knob here that allows you to adjust your uh, your actual vertical slant of the camera. So we loosen that up, and now our whole base plate here can lift up or down, obviously giving us other angles for the camera to sit at. We'll pull that back down and tighten that back up. And then finally, we've got this little platform up here with the, the screw that is used to mount the camera itself, keep it held on in place. Um, sometimes we have a need to switch between cameras really quickly, right? And we don't wanna fuss with having to mount them to multiple pieces. So you might have a camera mounted on one of these little flat pieces. Uh, I have a couple of those and you just wanna swap them out really quickly. You can pull this lever out, free up the whole mount where the camera is attached to, set it off to the side, Bring in camera number two that's on its own uh, its own little plate here. 
snap it back into place and start taking pictures again really super quickly. So all in all, I am pretty impressed. This feels very sturdy. It feels like it has a good uh, feel to it. Much better, different, different, but much better than what I'm currently using with the monopod. And I would like to now get the uh, camera set up on it and try out some stability. Okay, so now we're recording this clip with the Victive T72 sitting right underneath the camera. I have it fully extended to its full 69.5 inch height, which puts that camera right at eye level for me. Perfect. And I'm standing here beside my old buddy, the, uh, the wobbly uh, monopod. And as you'll see, if I lift this up, we've got the kind of tripod at the bottom here. You know, it, it served its purpose, but then we've got this long, uh, long monopod piece that really just, I mean, it's sitting here and it just wobbles. And when you've got a camera sitting on top, especially if you have a wired mic, any movement you do, if the floor is, has any kind of non-solidity to it at all, it just wobbles. And I gave you an example earlier when I bumped the camera and you saw the camera moving. Right now, I bump and you see that we quickly recover. We're not continuing to wobble back and forth like that. It's just a quick jolt. Good stability, very impressed with how it works and how you have the control of the camera with the handle. Overall, I am pretty impressed with what I'm seeing here. Uh, like I said, feels very sturdy, has good grips. Uh, turns out you can even remove, you can switch from tripod mode to monopod mode with this. Uh, for now, my monopod days are a bit done. I kind of love the stability that I'm getting here. It feels solid. Again, some of the things I saw that were negatives on the reviews on Amazon were the fact that there was some plastic hardware components, right? Some people prefer to have the metal components for sturdiness, for roughing it in the elements outdoors. Uh, but I think this is going to serve my purposes just fine. All the mechanisms of it appear to be good fluid motions. Nothing appears to be clunky or not, not working quite right or, or not fitting together nicely. So I think this is going to work out really well. If you're interested to see how it performs as far as stability goes, be sure to check out all my videos from this date forward on my channel. Please subscribe on YouTube. If you're interested in this uh, Victive T72, I'm also going to include a, a link on screen so that you can go check that out on Amazon, view the specs, look at reviews yourself, and, uh, and then if you end up getting it and are uh, happy with it, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. So thanks for joining me today. Hope this helped you out.